Another medical first for Kentucky. The first in-house stem cell processing system is being used to treat animals here in Kentuckyana, and humans will soon benefit. Yeah, and the company that developed this breakthrough technology headquartered right here in Kentucky, and so far the results of the therapy are impressive. Gene West joins us now to tell us all about it. Gene? And you know, guys, this eliminates that whole debate about using embryonic stem cells and could add years to your dog's life. Getting stem cells from your own fat used to require waiting weeks for the cells to be processed until now. Come with us to the Finchville Animal Clinic for a glimpse of the medical future. Cooper is a seven-year-old golden retriever who's torn his ACL in both sides of his hinds or knees. He's at the stage right now where he probably, without doing anything else, has about a year left before he's not going to be able to, to get up anymore. Come on, Coops. Let's go here, buddy. He's a bit reluctant, but he's about to undergo a medical breakthrough that could add years to his life and maybe even save some humans. He's having fat-derived stem cell therapy, where fat is removed from his side and his own stem cells extracted from the fat. Then his own stem cells will be injected into the damaged area to grow new tissue. That's not new. What is new is the process that is used to extract the stem cells, a new high-tech kit that is used to process the cells on site without having to send the tissue off to a lab for processing. Well, the advantage of being able to do it on site is these stem cells are very delicate and you can lose a lot of stem cells in the transfer period and they don't have they only have a certain limited amount of lifespan in fact sending tissue off to a lab and waiting weeks for the stem cells to be ready to be injected back into the body can result in the loss of up to 40 percent or more of the precious cells compromising the result this technique saves more cells is more affordable and is showing an amazing outcome well, this is abby Abby is the first dog in this area to have the fat-derived stem cell procedure, and her outcome is very good. Using the new on-site process called the Adipose Stem Cell Procedure Kit, Abby went from a disabled dog. If she was on, um, like, the kitchen floor, she couldn't get up. If she was on a hardwood floor, she couldn't get up. And her just her little hind legs wouldn't hold her up. To a dog with the energy of a puppy. Within two days, she's walking around, she's feeling good. Now she's out in our field in the morning making her rounds around to make sure everything's fine. The adipose kit is made by a company whose national headquarters is in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Jeremy Delk is the managing director. What we've done is develop the world's first in-house stem cell uh, procedure kit that's allowing a veterinarian to do this procedure in-house, in-clinic on the same day. He's a good boy. The process is working so well in dogs that vets are now using it in horses. Basically, he's ruptured the inside of his superficial digital flexor tendon. And in the near future, medical doctors could use it in humans. What a wonderful thing to be able to know that in a few years it's going to be human. You know, and, and people that are getting knee replacements now and people getting hip replacements, this is going to be the modality of the future. There's no question about it. As for Cooper, in just a few hours, he will have his life-changing stem cells injected into his knees so that he, like Abby, can live the full active life that dogs love and deserve. Now, though this procedure is less the expensive than the conventional stem cell therapy where tissue sent off to be processed, it's still pricey. It's $1,800, but compared to several thousand. And Janelle and Scott, for a young dog who has many years left, the owners say it's worth every cent. Absolutely, and people don't mind how much they spend on their pets a lot of times, too. Absolutely. I mean, they're their children in many cases, so they will spend that money to have them a few years longer. And we might have a Kentucky Derby winner in the future go you through know, this process. You know, these are some injuries that would put horses down. Now they can be saved with this therapy. Wow. All right. All right. Thanks, Gene.